Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain the Coriolis effect and its relationship with latitude. The Coriolis effect is the deflection caused to an object due to a fictitious force. But that's boring. Let me show you how it works in a very fun way. And I'll take advantage of where I live, which is... In the center of the world! While I'm here... Let's check some Earth facts. Earth is a sphere. It is rotating from west to east and the equator travels faster than the poles. Let's see why. The circumference of the equator is around about 40,000 kilometers. So in 24 hours, its speed is approximately 1,600 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, in the polar circle, the circumference is only 16,000 kilometers. So in the same 24 hours, we can see the speed is only 667 km per hour. To put that in context, Galapagos turtles travel faster than polar bears. Now that we know that depending on latitude, Earth is spinning in different speeds, let's think about its effects. Imagine Anna is taking a plane in the equator, in the city of Quito, because she wants to visit her friend Peach, who lives in Washington DC, which is north in a straight line. The plane takes off. Let's say the pilot is confident and puts the other pilot straight to the north. And everyone in the plane goes to sleep. But when you wake up, you landed! You landed! Somewhere in Spain! Which is way east from Washington! What happened? He stated that since the plane was moving at a greater speed than Washington when it departed at the equator, it conserved that momentum and deflected to the right while traveling. So when moving from the equator to the north, objects will appear to go to the right. The opposite would happen if we want to go south. Let's demonstrate it in real life and run an experiment at latitude zero and in both hemispheres and check if fluids like water or air masses are affected by the Coriolis effect. Let's check our GPS. As you just saw, the Coriolis effect is fact. My name is Jose Daniel Herrera and I hope you have enjoyed this video.